Hi, today we're going to change your sequence sizes. First, we go to Mode. Then you select Joint Sequin. Then you're going to select your sequin device. We're going to use one so we don't have to move this. Next, we're going to hit Size. That would be F5. We're going to change our sequin size today from 4mm to 5mm. So, here we hit Right, select 5, and hit Set. After that, you can exit out by hitting set again and then hit mode again. Next we're going to change out the spool. First you take this tab and you pull up and then you can release your spring. After that just pull your spool off and snap down at the bottom. Take your next spool and feed it in the same way. Put your spring back on and lock your tab. Then you feed inside this spool and outside the other. Now we're going to feed the sequins through the slot. All right. On the bottom there's another slot where you can put your needle through. You just feed your needle through to one of the sequin eyes, and be sure not to use too much of it so it doesn't scrape the other parts, and just pull directly through. After you've tested your cut, loosening this screw, you're going to lose your gap up here. What, you're going, what I'm going to do is set a gap just enough for your two millimeter, two and a half millimeter, to fit through. Then you would go to your menu, hit mode joint and sequin, and then hit F2 for excitation. Then you can let go of the knob and it stays on that gap. You're going to push this forward, take your two and a half millimeter, and tighten this screw again. After it's tight, you would go back to your menu, hit F2 again, and your gap is now set. Now that your gap has been set, we're going to check to center the needle. What you're going to want to do first is loosen these two screws. Then this is what you use to manipulate the needle itself. Whenever you raise and lower the device for the sequence, you have to set this to 100. Okay. Now you're going to lower the needle and see where it sets. In this case we need to go back. What we do now is turn this knob until everything goes back. After you've centered your needle, all you have to do now is tighten these two screws again. Always remember to tighten them up with your Allen wrench. Back to 100. That's really about it.